fully lost hope, but there were some pretty low times. I mean, I was raped daily, often multiple times. I mean, I was withheld food. I was withheld with water was withheld from me. Um, there were a lot of times that I really wondered if I would just die naturally. That's Elizabeth Smart. Remember her? She opened up about her survival story. She guest hosted Ashley Banfield's show last night here on News Nation to talk about her experience of being kidnapped at the age of 14 back in 2002 and then rescued by a police officer in Utah. And Elizabeth is with us ahead of hosting Banfield again tonight. First of all, congratulations. Uh, one night down, one to go. Thank you. Uh, what about your experiences, and I've said to you, I know before, but I'll say it on air, how admiring I am of you being a survivor and not a victim after your experience. What about your experiences did you bring last night um, that you thought were most important? I felt there were um, actually quite a few instances in the stories last night that I felt some form of connection just given what I have experienced to what the guests were sharing they experienced last night. and. I mean, yes, a lot of the stories were focused on victims of crimes, um, victims of kidnapping. And I mean, I have known some of them personally, so it was yep. a pretty awesome night last night. Yeah, it was. Congratulations. I, I can only imagine sort of the six months that you were in captivity, how that formed uh, your view of the human equation. Um, and the empathy it gives you and the understanding. Uh, tonight, I know you have on a couple of NYPD officers uh, who were able to talk a young man off of jumping off uh, the Washington Bridge, the GW Bridge in New York. We'll listen to a little bit uh, of the body cam tape. Take a listen. We're here. We're here. We're here. You know what's funny? You people flagged us down for you. It means people care out there. People care. I care. I'm not going to judge anything in the past. I'm not going to judge who you are. The only thing I want to make sure is that you're okay and that you go home at the end of the day. Yeah, I know that sort of thinking about life in that way is something you struggled with in captivity. And I also think to myself about your view of police officers um, after one spotted you and was able to, to save you. I, I'm so grateful for law enforcement who do their work diligently, who are actively trying their best to, to make a difference. And, and I think it's really exciting to be able to sit down with some of them tonight and listen to their experience, but also acknowledge the amazing work that they're doing. I'm going to ask you real quick, have you ever interviewed the police officer who saved you, who rescued you? I have never interviewed them, no. All right, we're, 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 we're setting that up. That would be really, <laughs> that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, we're going to try to do that. Um, Elizabeth, congratulations. Um, night two coming up, uh, hosting Banfield at 10 p.m. Eastern right here um, on News Nation. We'll see you soon, all right? Okay. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.